In this video tech tip, we are going to explore a very popular tool within the Imagine It Utilities for Civil 3D to help create offset points. My name is Joe Hedrick and I am a Solutions Architect with Imagine It. This overview is meant to help you get started utilizing this routine. Let's get started. The Create Offset Points routine is kind of a classic situation where we created this routine with kind of one you know, task or workflow in mind, and our clients have expanded that and are using it for you know, something completely different. So let's take a look at the routine. Uh, here in, in this case, I have a corridor, but you know, really for the routine to work, um, it looks at feature lines. So what I've done you know, inside of this corridor, I went ahead and extracted a feature line from it. It's a, uh, it's a linked, it's still linked to the corridor so that should the corridor update, uh, it, it will, uh, it will you know, move and update as well. But uh, you, know, you will find the create offset points uh, and about the center of the ribbon, uh, the imagine it ribbon. And you know, when, we, when we select it, it's just gonna ask for a feature line. Right. Any kind of feature line is just fine. So here I've got this back a curb. And the idea of what we had in mind initially was, you know, trying to help, you know, with stakeout, trying to, you know, come up with a better way, you know, to teach, you know, surveyors, you know, how to generate their, you know, their stakeout offset points. Now, what's happened is, <laughs> you know, because it works on any feature lines, it kind of naturally opened itself up for a whole lot of different just grading uh, type scenarios. You know, I want to grade out at a constant grade or, or something like that. You know, a lot of people like to grade, you know, by placing points, and this routine will lend itself to those workflows very nicely as well. But uh, you know, in this case, we can pick an offset distance. So you know, maybe I just want 10 feet. Um, in this case, to the right. Uh, if you want it to go to the left side of the feature line, uh, you need to put a negative um, in this. That's not really you know anything new in, in civil 3D world. The spacing interval. Uh, we're going to maybe let's just do this every 25 feet. And then you know we can give these points a, a description. So you know maybe I say it's a 10 foot offset. You know what point number do I want to start at? So maybe let's start at a thousand. And then you know here's the area where we can really yeah where this is really taken off, right? If if we select you know by feature line elevation, you know basically it's going to you know, whatever the elevation is at the feature line, that's the elevation of the point. You know, however, if you want to change that, if you want to do by grade, you know, go out in this case, 10, uh, 10 feet at, you know, X percent or by X slope, you can absolutely do that. If you want to do something relative, uh, we've got options for that. And if you just want to set an absolute elevation, uh, we allow for that as well. Now, this routine's been around for a couple of years, and we had a, a request to enhance it last year. So we, you know, always try to try to listen and, and take feedback as much as we can. So we we had a, a request to, you know, what I want to be able to put the alignment station in the point description itself, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is toggle that on and a couple of things happen. First, we need to actually pick what alignment we want. Um, you know, and then you'll see that opened up, uh, you know, this note that said, use STA to insert the alignment station. And basically what we mean by that is just come wherever in the point description, if you want it at the, if you want the station at the beginning, Awesome. If you want it at the end, that's fine too. But wherever in your description you want that point or want that station, you know, just come through and, and whoops, not curly brackets, normal brackets, and then inside STA in all caps, right? And our routine will actually look for that and go out and insert the stationing uh, at that point. If we want to add these points to a point group, we can absolutely do that. 
Uh, I don't have any right now, so maybe I just want to call this stakeout. I get a chance to uh, to make that point group, and then just a couple of other options. You know, create points at all vertices. Right, this is essentially wherever there is a vertex in the feature line, it will add a point. Right, again, think about the grading scenario uh, in that case. You know, from more of a stakeout scenario, if we also want, a lot of times we want the points at, you know, PC, PCs and PTs, uh, and we can uh, we can select that as well. Um, so just by simply hitting OK, the routine's going to kind of chug through, and you can start to see, you know, the points that it that it generated. Uh, you know, starting at 1,000, you know, going all the way through. There's there's our, our point descriptions. If we zoom out, it did all of them, all the way to the end of that feature line. All right? If we look at our point groups, here's our, our stakeout point group as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope this overview was beneficial. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out by using the email address or phone number provided. Have a great day.